Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a haul video. Um, I'm gonna have, I was going to try to do a goals video, but I haven't gotten that done yet uh, for the year. Um, but as far as my haul goals, um, I'm going to concentrate more on certain products, um, I believe. Um, however, you know, if I have the money and I see something I like, I'm going to buy it because that's just, I've been repressed for too long, so <laughs> I'm not done spending. <laughs> um, but I do want to try to concentrate on certain things as far as like my watercolor paints that I buy from other people and um, distress inks um, those I would like to you know acquire the entire you know all the colors um, as well as um, any really like I'm gonna concentrate on higher end books um, because I'd like to build that collection um, you know uh, not to say I won't get cheaper books, but that's more so what I'm going to concentrate on um, or if I really, really like it. Um, but I got to be in that position where I really, really like it and like can't live without it um, because I do have a lot of books. And on my shelf that's not colored has grown, so I'd like to, I mean, I'd like to get that cleaned up before I really get into buying more books. Um, there's a few that I need to get um, once I have the extra moolah um to do that so for starters i'm gonna start this haul off with happy mail um i received my first happy mail this week um from the lovely lily art journey and uh, we do the saturday lives and um of course i watch her and zoe and audrey um Audrey Maureen um, are all on there and then I watch uh, any of their channels and the, over there they get these books that I really really wanted um, so I've been talking about them so she picked them up for me and this was one of the ones that I was really really wanting and I hadn't really seen like a flip through or anything I just seen um, I think it was Zoe or Rachel Maybe it was Rachel um, coloring in these, and uh, they have the 3D effect. And as soon as I opened this, I was like, "I colored this. I've colored this before." Um, and so then I had broken out this book that I had gotten, and I mean, it doesn't have the greatest paper quality. This paper in this book is definitely better, but I had already done that picture, so it'll be neat to do it again. Um, and these books all, um, it says 24 sheets, but it's 12 images and then they repeat. So that's great as well. I have an extra set. So I love that. Uh, again, Lily, I can't thank you enough. I absolutely love these books. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Um, and basically this one is mostly just scenes. I'm just going to do like a few page flip through here. Kind of so you can see. Um, there's that one again. Um, but if you're interested in complete, complete flips, I'm not sure if there is any of these on there on, on YouTube. Um, let me know and I can always flip through. So she also picked me up this one. And at first I was like, oh gosh, animals. <laughs> Cause that's the one thing that I'm not good at is coloring animals. But then I opened it and I was like, oh, whew. <laughs> So, um, I love scenery and I love foliage, so that works out great. And I do like coloring birds. They're, they're, they're not as hard as some animals. Um, so, but there's a lot of floral in here, so I like that. Another bird, which I can handle. I can handle the birds. So. <laughs> and then this one. And these are all the same double images through the book, and they're all 3D. So they have raised up portions. I don't know if you, the camera will pick it up so you can see it right here. Um, and it's really thick, it's good for watercolor. And then 
on this one. I just, I, I just love it. Love, love, love it. <laughs> so cute. I've seen this one done before. <laughs> And then she also threw in this one, which is actually 24 designs. It's not duplicates. And it's a different, it's craft sensations. This is deco time. And I think you get these in the works over there. Um, oh gosh, I wish we had the works over here. <laughs> um, and I kind of fell in love with this one because I had never seen this one. Um, when I got to really flipping through it, I was like, I, I think I'm going to really enjoy it. I love doing things simple. Sorry about the noise. My kittens are oh, nuts. It's morning. This is what they do. Morning in the middle of the night. <laughs> and then they sleep all day. She also got me... Zoom out a little bit. Secret London Colorful for Mindness. Alice Chadwick and Rosie Goodwin. And it's all, you know, images you would see in London. And again, if you'd like a full flip through, let me know. I'm not sure. I didn't look ahead of time to see if there's any flip throughs, but yeah, excited for that. And it's, um, it's okay paper. I wouldn't say it would take markers because I feel like it would be through in this since they are, you know, back to back. <clears throat> and then if you watch Lily's live, she got this calendar here um, and talked about possibly doing a color along. So, um, yeah, we have that and I would participate. So, they're very big pages though compared to their Christmas mandala book. And then she threw in two sets of the Giotto Turbo Glitter gel pen markers. Um, I absolutely love these. Thank you. Now I have backups because I only did have one set of them. <laughs> so thank you again, Lily, for my first ever happy mail. And then um, I did get my sketch box for January and if you watch anybody's reviews and things like that you've probably seen it but I figured I'd share if you had not you this month and I haven't gotten a chance to play with these yet um it's it's been pretty busy for me um I might actually go back to work full time I'm looking for a local job or part time and keep working for my current boss um, I haven't, I haven't decided yet, but I, I did, I applied for like a few jobs and then right away got two interviews. So the market's hot right now. Um, so that will also give me more income to buy more. <laughs> Cause I was a little worried this year that I wasn't going to buy as much if I didn't work full time. Um, so basically what we have here, um, these are the Sketchbox Signature Watercolor pow Powder. They gave you navy, grape, orange, and turquoise. Um, I seen Corey had um, talked about these in her haul. I believe it was her live haul um, and said that they were quite messy. Um, this one here is the Custom TCW Color Sparks Watercolor Powder. Um, I don't even know how to say that color. Oh, like right there, that's the color. Um, 
they had this in I don't know if it was last month's box or the month before and I absolutely love playing with the stuff it is a little bit messy itself but from way Corey said it's better than these so I've already played with these so I can't wait um, then you have Rembrandt watercolor titanium white and a sketchbox signature filbert brush number four a copic multi-liner and a custom magnini 1404 portofino cotton pad hot press so but i get these a lot with my sketchbox so and i've been doing the sketchbox for a while now so just thought i'd share that and i like the sketchboxes so i'm gonna keep my prescription subscription for a while um and like i said i wanted to concentrate um you know getting more watercolor paints and distress inks and things like that so me and my boyfriend were out and about and we stopped in because i knew joanne fabrics had discounted some of their distress inks so i was able to get this pack for like five something um normally they're a lot more than that i can't remember the price um Unfortunately, they had a lot more of the big ones on sale, um, marked down to like ridiculous, like three fifty or something. Um, but they were all sold out. Um, and then I got these. I don't have any of these. This is a stress oxide spray, um, and this is Mermaid Lagoon and something violet. I can't read what it is. I didn't open it yet. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd try them out, see what they were like, since I haven't tried them yet. And we were, I also wanted to go around and I kind of gotten into watching the thrifters um, on YouTube that sell um, things that they buy and kind of learning what they have. You know, they live in big populated cities. Um, I live in a city now, but it's not populated like the cities they're in. So I don't really feel like I, I mean, I did see some things, some things, but it's like, do I really want to get into that? I'm not sure. Maybe I just like a rather rag, regular job. Um, but I always look for art supplies when I'm in the thrift stores because I feel like sometimes an older person might pass on and their family just donates everything. And that's how you're going to find these good buys. So I did find one thing and it was this bag. They do like mixture bags of art supplies and books and things and this one was originally $7.99 and then it had been marked down to $4.99 so I was like uh yeah because I would pay $4.99 for one <laughs> um sorry about the noise so they're all notebooks um so I'll start with this one here um I feel like somebody made this oh no it says made in China um, but it's, um, it's like a, a cloth material, um, and then this is really smooth, like, with wood paneling, and it's really nice paper. Nothing's tore out, um, it's brand new, so, I mean, I feel like alone you paid $4.99 for this, being what it is. And if not for that one, this one. Um, not the prettiest colors, maybe it maybe could be cleaned up a little bit but it's super like it's it's not velvet but it's soft I don't know what it is but um it has a little bit of glitter kind of stuck to it and it's a little bent but other than that it's perfect it's brand new um there's nothing in it there's no page torn out of it and you have you know your marker um so i was like yeah and i couldn't open the bag i could only see it from the side so i wasn't sure if they had pages torn out or wrote in um the person must have liked elephants i'm guessing um either that or i mean it had to have been somebody donated something that was elephants and this one's brand new with a metal you know ring um and there's the backing 
160 pages from 2016 from California. And again, perfect pages. And then these two, like, like I said, elephants. These are um, petting gear, which are Walmart 80 page books. They're just composition, but even if I give them to the kids, you know, it's there. So, again, brand new. So, we're up to what? Two, five. And then this is the sixth one. And I feel like this one was my favorite out of the bunch. It's another petting gear, which is from Walmart. I'm not sure how much this actually costs. Brand new. Um, it is new, but you have this front cover. So, um, I was actually thinking, should I make this into a swatch book? Um, because it's like sketch paper. And I mean, I don't know that it will work for watercolor and that was kind of what I was visualizing, but um, I'm gonna test the watercolor on the pages and they're perforated. Uh, and like I said, another brand new book. I just was so thrilled with the buy. So couldn't beat that five bucks for six brand new book notebooks or five notebooks and a sketchbook. Um, and then the other day I was in Walmart because I had, the last time I bought glitter, I bought two of the same exact one and I knew they had two different glitter sets. Um, so I went back and got the other glitter set. It has some more chunkier glitters, which will be more for crafting. Um, but I was looking for more for, to get a wider range to kind of try backgrounds like Chelsea Jade Murray. And when I was there, I also picked up Folk Art Glitterific Gold Acrylic Paint. Um, I haven't tried any of these yet. I'll probably follow up with another video um, of playing with them because I'd rather do it that way. I also got the Glitterific Black Opal and that color is like super pretty. And then I've been eyeing these up. I think they were like $15. So I wasn't sure. Um, they're the gr gr gl uh, sorry, I can't talk. Glitterific icons, acrylic paints from Folk Arts. Um, and then there's, you got flowers and butterflies, stars and moons, blue stars and lavender hearts. So they have different shape confetti glitter in the, the paint so we'll see what it looks like but I was kind of thinking these for backgrounds um, but yeah and I believe yeah this was the last thing I got from Walmart um, some glitter foam stars I just can't resist glitter and then I thought oh I can just stick that in a picture you know, mostly these ones. I think I have these two colors already, but I wanted these colors. And I think they're like a buck or two. And then that was my bit of shopping out. And then I did a Etsy order. And I don't know if anybody else has seen those Klarna where you can make the payments. Um, I decided to take advantage of that because I thought I could do that. I could do it, set it up on my paycheck day, and then every two weeks I can have another payment come out, and you just do that for four pays. So, yes, it would take me two months to actually pay for it, but, and you can pay it off earlier. I don't know if you know that. Um, if you decided you just wanted to pay it all off, you can do that as well once you put the Klarna app on your phone. Um, so I decided to do that because I can save money if I can order more, more product out of country. I can save on the shipping if I can order more at one time. So that's what I decided to do. And I had... I did a $200 order, slightly over $200 order on Etsy for watercolor paints. Um, I've been eyeing some up that I wanted to try um, some new, um, <clears throat> some new um, other than the Art Spirits 
um, that's the only one really I bought that um, are making their own paints. So I did get some dot carts from Renaissance Colors. Zoom in here. Um, and I got these ones here. They are the Royal Parks. And I just thought I'll get the dark carts because they were like $8 for this one maybe. Sorry, I should have looked at it before I got on here. Um, and then I got this one, which was the Crown Jewels, but in shipment, because it comes in an, um, when you get the dark cards, just comes in an envelope like this. Um, it got, when it ran through the postage, it got, it got smashed. Just this color there got smashed so but she had given me this free one for a purchase so I thought oh that's great I'll just that can be my replacement for that one um, I was a little concerned because this gold or whatever got on kind of on these other ones but I think they'll be okay I tried to get off as much as I possibly could um, and I just reached out and um, you know let Renee know what had happened and she immediately sent me out a replacement. I didn't ask for the replacement. She was just so great and just offered to send me a replacement um, of the crown jewels and it came intact. So lovely. So I can't wait to swatch these out um, and do my video um, and play with them with you guys to show you. Um, so I did those and then um, the other one I've been watching wanting to try is Lassa. Um and she she does hers and I got some free dot cards from her she does hers in the she shells so I got those ones there and it gives you a swatch card so it's Russet Orth Russ Orthrus Tempest Myth Clover and she also, I'm guessing this is a sticker. It's a sticker. And that's a sticker. And then she gave me three dot cards for free with my purchase. And these little shells have magnets so they don't move around in there. Um, so excited to try those. And then and I already have I gotten a, a 12 count of colors I picked from Art Spirits and then um, she came off those new sets and I was like I really want them <laughs> so I did not open this I only opened this part here um, so that I could open it on camera for you. Let's do that. Um, so this was really my big purchase um, for the month, but I've been wanting more. And a beautiful package that we all know from Rebecca. And my sweets, my glitter, the tea. Oh, like a little snowman confetti and some violet candies oh, and a snowflake um, confetti and all about your paints is in there and my invoice so I have been dying to play with these I cannot wait till later today because have a job interview here in a little bit that I gotta get ready for after. Sorry about the noise. Ooh. Try to do this away from the phone so it's not as loud.
Yeah, I had to have them. <laughs> I so wish that I had thought about getting them before Christmas because um, I really wanted the red. I think it's in this set. Um, and it would have done so nice in that book that I, um, the Mandela book, the Camina, no, Camilla Angikova. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> so I got that in, I think this was a winter set she just come out with. So none of them are open, but I'll, I'm in love. And I haven't even opened them yet. But I know I'll love them because, yeah, I already have, like I said, 12 of hers. I hope to be able to, this year, collect all the paints that she has. That's my goal. Um, and the distress inks. Um, that is my main focus is for my hauls. Um, hopefully, nobody gets bored with that because, of course, I'll buy other things. But th that's what I want to focus my money, money, money on this year. Um and expanding those collections. So that is it guys. So if you're curious about the colors and you wanna come back, look for my next video. Thanks so much, take care.